Hi everybody, welcome back to my studio of Perpetual Mojo. I would like to tell you about a retreat that I did with a friend in upstate New York. We spent the week with a Native American shaman named Carl Bigheart, and we spent the week just listening and listening and sharing, and eventually we did a sweat lodge, which is an amazing experience that I'm glad I don't ever have to repeat. Long story short, when we got home I made a tile mosaic with two figures. They're very gestural looking. They don't even have facial details but they're leaning into each other and that was my gift to my friend so that she would always remember that time that we spent. And I would actually like to make something for myself to remember that time. So I'm going to do something a little different with those figures. This is a photocopy of the original clay tile piece. And I took a tip from Heidi. I put frosted shrink plastic over it and traced it. And then I cut that out. And then I also went back and cut out individual pieces that I want to stand out more from the background. This is a piece of a tissue box that I want to use for my figures. So I traced the whole thing and the individual pieces onto here. My pieces are all cut out now and I've just gone around the edges with a black marker and that will help Pop the little figures off the page. Go over anywhere that you have any cardboard showing, certainly. I chose a really inexpensive dimensional frame because I like adding lots of dimensional elements. I started a little stretchy string here with some plastic beads and glass beads, but I don't want to finish that until I have the little figures placed. I want my little figures to stand up off of the page a little bit, so I'm going to use some foam dots, but I'm going to use the Tacky Dot Singles just to make sure those little foam dots stay on and stay where they are supposed to be. I have all of the Tacky Dots on the back, on the foam dots. Make sure that you know exactly where this is going to go because once it's down, it's down. Here goes this leg. Nice. That's good. I think I like that a lot. Again, make sure you know where it's going because it is going to stick as soon as you put it down. Very cool. Yes, very nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish stringing all the way across the bottom. And then we'll glue that in place. I'm glad I did that for myself. It makes me happy to look at it. I'd love to share it with you. Look for the printable pattern on my tutorial page. Take those figures and do whatever you like with them. Of course, I want to see, so you'll have to email me with high-resolution photos and your story, Candace at CoolToCraft.com, and I will share them on our Creative Community blog. I'm Candace, and I think it's so cool to craft. <laughs>